Yo, 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 this is your boy, this is your boy Emperor in the building. So we finally got some, <clears throat> some Necros action like usual. As, you know, this is with the Zephyra. Um, I know I was supposed to be posing some Zephyra joint, but you know what? I looked at Zephyra, and I actually look inconsistent with how I play it. So I might not have that. So, so we're just going to go straight into the topic. Not straight to the topic, but straight to the content, you know. So, Necros... They lost something very valuable, and it's really difficult for them to sustain, to sustain in, in you know, in the matchups, because the fact that you know, once you trishula, once you trishula that one time, you know, you have to, you have to find a way how to, how to end the game by then, which kind, which kind of, which is kind of fair, but then, but then someone not, I mean, because Necros. Like we look at these decks like this, he just he just, he was able to bring out multiple boss monsters in one turn. Like it was ridiculous. But the thing about it was, wait, did I give him? Yeah, I gave him information that I had Valkyrie. No, I did not. I did not give him any information. So he he tried to all enemy and he got punished for it. So right here, right here, you know, I'm gonna try to make a play here. You know, where to turn alive and that guy's OP shots to. Shout out to Young Breezy for that, for that joint. So, <clears throat> so, so we go for the Northern play, Northern play into, into um, Maju, and we uh, Castell away one of the tigers, one of the Saber tigers. They're just, oh, those, those are just fucking huge. No, oh. so you know, go for a great sorcerer, go for the Valkyries, so a protection play. Now. I was not thinking correctly. I'm so used to sure it, and you know, unfortunately, you see that they, you know, top decks, top decks to the lower over there, and you know, I'll go for the Valkyries play, vanish, send out the Axia. So, because now he's like, yeah, think about it this way: when your opponent puts all the cards on the table, you all you have to do is just abstain and just punish your opponent for for playing the game. So I go for Necros Mirror. I wish I didn't add Collider Mirror. Collider Mirror feels so dead because Unicorns is at one. And there's not really much you could like abuse with Herald. So I do go for Herald to one. Herald to one because you don't really need you don't really need um two anymore. Because of the fact that there's no other way to to reproduce Unicorn unless unless you're playing my build, which is the well, I'm playing two Pendulum backs, so I could add back you know monsters with the scales of between two to six, if I'm correct. Yes, sir. Yeah, two to six. So you know, I, I make a top deck. A top deck. I go for the go for the Diamond Dyer. You know, get rid of the tiger, so I don't have to really have to worry about. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about um about anything, and then I just go for the for the big push. So now another monster. I'm thinking about playing two Axios because Axios is really good, but then you know you have the other Zephyr one, and right here this this is where you want to trish. You want to trish either between early game to mid game. Late game trish it won't really do much. If your opponent has like no resources left, or if you're going against a that's the time I play who just been like sustain out the ass, you know with Trevor Trevor loops and stuff. And right here, he's trying his he's trying to he's trying to come up back into the game, but because because Chris is on board, because Chris is on board, it's kind of it's kind of hard for him to come back. So. <clears throat> Now, now let's talk about why why I went to Zephyr route. Zephyr route is somewhat better because you have better synergy. Yes, clowns does give you access to rank force, but it is not really good early game rank force. Only get rank force I see as personally good is just Castell and Diamond Dyer, and of course you know Dweller because Dweller is, is that boy. Even though Dweller doesn't do anything in this Inferno, sadly, but that's why you play, you know, Rhapsody. Rhapsody is advantage with the Bronze Monsters. 
So right here he makes the child makes a he makes a desperate play. Makes a desperate play. Goes for the goes for the um the proper setup. And right here he banished away one of his focal monsters. And yeah, I talked that. I talked that really hard. This is why we play the pillow spell. As you see right here, I can't go with this big ass video, right? Psycho, Zephyr, Oracle, Zephyr, and I get to shuffle this monster back to the deck. Really good card. So, and you know, unfortunately, the reason why I was I was not been I was not able to you know drop any more videos, you know, earlier in the week because you know work is a, is a struggle, and sadly I didn't get to go to live Friday. So. But you know, but you boy, but you boy, you be, you be on a re-up on the Cyber Monday, you know. I like Cyber Monday anyway. I don't want to get run over by, by these animals. Yes, I call these animals because, because y'all yeah, mofos going crazy for, for some freaking deals. Who gives a shit about that? The world, the world, the world revolving around internet. So why, why take the risk? Why take the risk? If you, if you're working on Black Friday, you might as well take the shit. And right here, you know, I had to I had to go for the early Valkyries. Early Valkyries, which is kind of sad, but but you know, we, what you about to see is a little a little good top deck, <clears throat> the one ofs. You know, I wish this car, if this car would ever move a count. Oh shit! Now I go for the for the Northern play. Now I think I should have. Pop. I should have went for Diamond Diamond instead, even though I had a beater on board. Because just watch, just watch how how this is gonna buy me in the table on later on, later on within the match. So <clears throat> let's see. So we talked about why Oracle Zephyr is really good inside that cross. It it makes your Trishula play real really hurt, and it makes your Unicorn plays a little bit strong. So, so you don't have to deal with cards like, I mean, even though this card is banned, um, construct, or you don't have to deal with cards like, Cypher and Omega, because he has to activate on on summon, and and the thing about it is that the Bill Spell effect does not does not target, which is really 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 good, really really good. Um, <clears throat> next stuff that's next thing that's gonna come in my projects is of course. You know the TCG DDDs. I'm gonna make sure I do that. Get out of the way, and I'm and yes, I'm gonna give it a little tiny deck profile, but I won't. It won't be the official deck profile of Necros Zephyr because I feel like there's more cards I can put in here. I'm deciding to play Reckless Draw. I'm, I'm decided. It's just that. The biggest problem of of Necro is that you know without sure you can't get that extra push, so it's kind of difficult. Because you know when you play Reckless Greed, in my opinion, I say in my opinion, you want to play, you want to you want to play in deck that OTKs or what shuts down your opponent immediately. So so like if I was gonna play Reckless Greed, I'm gonna play inside Marvel because it's OT, it's OTK that. If I'm gonna play, if I'm gonna play in any other deck, like Heretics, Heretics, um, you could play Reckless Greed inside your centuries. I did it in the past, which is fine. Because your centuries, they're, I hate to say, they are expensive. They are, they are crazy expensive. And I wonder, local players, excuse me, I wonder, local players. Do Necros really counter focus? Do they? As they are right now, do they count? I know in the past, shit, Necros counters everything with that. Because it was just so freaking strong. And right here, I kind of make, I can't, I make a slight misplay. Because I was thinking of, sadly, I was thinking of, of Castell, but Castell was used already. And Ragnar Zero was, was the only play I had, and as you see, he had a Yu-Gi-Oh mode going on, so I couldn't really do much about that. Yu-Gi-Oh mode, man, it's just they're, they're so they're so crazy. 
So I was bringing on Ragnar Zero to give me the Valkyrie so it could, you know, stay in the game. But as you can see, you know, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it to Arrow. So yeah, Bobo did take game two. Um, most likely, most likely, most likely. Okay, game three. Um, since I'm going first, I don't want to see, I don't want to see Pendulum back. I want to just burst him down straight up. So I decided two maxis, two maxis to, to stay ahead in the game. Now, I guess people are like, why do you still play 42 cards or why do you go over the 40 card limit? The reason I go over, over the 40 card limit is because of the fact that, one, fuck you, your rules. Because at the end of the day, I'm my own person, you're your own person. If, if a 60 card deck could top, which I was one of them who did, if a, if a 55 card deck could top or 52, 53, whatever, there is no logic in the field. There isn't. I'm not even saying there is no logic, but. When it comes to the math, you know, yeah, she's supposed to draw better than your opponent every single time. But, uh, similar, that's something different. And similar, it, it's a hundred percent random. What? When I, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I was playing on the end. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. Yes, you know, I said a B word. I'm gonna try my best to win. But what happened? Let me tell you what happened. I get close. I get close to winning, and my point of top decks the answer. Like, like this man top decked the answer like like he was cheating on a test. I'm like, bruh, you ain't you, you couldn't solve that answer. You couldn't solve that shit. Oh no. So, as you see the as as you see, you know, once you get the the pendulum scales going, you're able to make free ritual plays about. About relying on ritual spells, even though this handy guy could activate his effect in the hand anyway. So it's just like it's just like a um, it's just like a ritual spell. But you get, but I went for the for the fill for the for the potential skills first, even though it is kind of risky because you know tiger is a card, and if he did target the tiger, I would have been in a really bad situation. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I will post the deck list of the second run next video.